Hi everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how to solve differential equations using MATLAB Simulink. So in this exercise we've got two tanks and we have QI which is the input to the system. This is it and this is Q1 and Q2. So this exercise requires us to plot Q1 and Q2 for QI equals to 5 so we have to use MATLAB Simulink to solve it and we've got and as you can see here we have A1, A2, R1, R2 that we have to define in MATLAB but before going to MATLAB we have to rearrange these equations and solve for H1 dot and H2 dot so The first equation becomes after solving for h1 dot as you see here and the second equation will be like this. Now we can go to MATLAB and start solving this exercise. Now we start MATLAB. just click on Simulink library and we can create new model from here so this is our new model and this is Simulink library so we have to go to commonly used blocks and as you can see here we need gains and we need some as well as uh, constant which is the input and integrator and finally scope so we go back to our equation this is the equation number one as you can see here the highest order is 1 so we need the integrator just one time and we have these terms multiplied by 1 over a1 which is gain so this is gain and here we have got the sum minus and plus so start So these are the things that we need to create our model and as you can see here we have h1 dot that means we need the integrator just one time for the first equation and we've got gain which is the multiplication so we have this gain right click and drag and we can click on control R to rotate the gain and double click on it and change it to 1 over a1 and you can rename it as you wish so this is the gain and after that we've got the sum that means we have plus and minus so this is it signs can be changed by double clicking this circle and as you see here you can add as many signs as you wish so we need just plus and minus and as shown here we have h1 minus h2 divided by r1 and after after this integrator we've got h1 that means before that it was h.1 so plus and minus means that we have sum so h1 is plus 
so this one goes to H1 and control R to rotate and the minus sign remains to the rest of this example so after this we have gain which is 1 over R1 so control R connect it double click and write 1 1 right 1 over R1 okay you can change this name R1 and the whole term has minus sign so it goes directly to here and the plus sign belongs to QI so the input is QI we can double click here and write QI and double click on it and write QI also we have to define them later so this is the first equation the second equation looks similar so that means we have just one integrator and out of this integrator we've got h2 so double click here and write h2 and as you can see here we have h1 minus h2 that means this minus sign goes to here so this term is complete now okay and similar to the first equation we've got the gain and this gain is 1 over a2 and before that we have the sum so we have plus and minus the plus belongs to h1 minus h2 over r1 and we have this term which is this one h1 minus h2 multiplied by, by 1 over r1 goes to plus the minus sign belongs to h2 over r2 that means we have gain 1 over r2 multiplied by h2 so this is h2 and it has a minus sign so it goes up to here okay you can delete this one as well as this one so we are asked to plot uh, q1 and q2 for qi equals to 5 that means we need q1 and q1 equals to h1 minus h2 over r1 that means this one q1 minus q2 over r1 so we need a scope here and we name it as q1 and we need another scope and it's named as q2 and this thing is called q2 and it comes out of h2 over r2 so this is it h2 over r2 and now we can and now we can go to MATLAB command window and define the variables we've got a1 equals to 1.5 a1 equals to 1.5 a2 equals to 2 a2 equals to 2 R1 1.2 and R2 1.6 R1 equals to 1.2 R2 
equals to 1.6. Go again to your model and run. And we have to define QI to be 5. And now go back to your model. The resulting curve can be seen by double clicking the scope. So double click on Q1 to see its curve and this curve represents Q2 so that was it this is the end of this video I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions just let me know and thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe like and share